welcome back to the limited queue. Hanging out in the limited queue here, we're just one person away from starting up our 40th Fates Reforged draft. Up oh, here we go. Nice to see you guys again. I haven't recorded in a few days. But it's cool, we can open up the, uh, I don't even know how to say this. Ojutai? 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 Eh, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to open. And we're going to take it, just because it's a bomb. Damn crying shame that we're passing a Bathe in Dragonfire and a Reach of, <laughs> Reach of Shadows. This is insane. And a Channel Harm. I hope that wheels. Especially because it would be on color for us. But yeah, we're definitely going to first pick the uh, Bomb Rare. To our right is Fool Them All. Z Sander. Emetalric. And to our left is I Am Dude Man. 01 muzzle 46, and across from us is X fifth and Hurtis. I think I am Dude Man is gonna win the cool name award. So I am Dude Man, congratulations. You are the Dude Man. Uh, I like oh, all right. Well, I like Scale Guard because he's pretty amazing, and he's on color for us. I want to take Douse and Gloom, but that's way out of our range because. Uh, yeah, um, I do feel a little bit weird first picking two creatures and not taking any removal. But we're going to do that anyway. Um, I wouldn't mind mixing it up and going for some crazy uh, like four-color deck. It's not out of the question. Like maybe white, like Abzan splash blue. White, blue, green. No, what the hell is that? White, blue, green, black. White, black, green. Yeah, that would be Abzan Splash Blue. Or Sultai Splash White, right? So, I, I, I wouldn't mind picking that. I, I, don't, I don't know. I know it's really early early to say stuff like that. But I'm just I'm throwing it out there that I, I, I've been thinking about it. And I think that might be a decent way to go uh, with this set. We just we would need to pick up fixing really early. Well, we're going to take the Surveyor here. I've, I've gotten uh, out-tempoed by Surveyor enough times to start realizing that it's actually a pretty good card. I re didn't used to like it because 5 for 2-2 two, two flying is eh. But the more I play against it, the more I realize that it's pretty good. So we're going to pick up the Surveyor here. Uh, kind of eyeing these ethereal ambushes and saying, like, okay, well, if they wheel and, you know, like this hunt the weak, if they wheel, maybe we'll end up white, blue, green, splash, black or something. Okay, but we're going to take the Surveyor. This is a late Douse and Gloom. This is a really late Douse and Gloom. Uh, fourth pick Douse is pretty strong. Uh, this Ruthless Instinct is pretty insane as well. Uh, it's kind of like a, a, a wake in the bear with the option of uh, untap kill your thing. Um, Tranquil Cove would be the on color uh, fixing for us. Lotus Path the Jin is around. Huh. I don't want to take the douse. Um, and then kind of see what happens with it. But although the Lotus Path or the Tranquil Cove, I think, is the right pick. I think Douse and Gloom and Ruthless Instincts are the more fun picks. Oh, uh, let's just do... No, we're, no I can't do it. We're, we're going to take the right pick. But then we get past the Battle Brawler and the Heel Cutter. All right, Heel Cutter's going to put us into Jeskai. There's no way I'm passing Heel Cutter here. Uh, well, but Sandblast, though. Oh, man. Getting some really weird signals here. Like, Black is... Battle Brawler is an insane card for Mardu. Heel Cutter's great. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind just cutting White totally out of the picture here. But uh, here it's a toss-up between Heel Cutter and Sandblast, and I really don't know which one is better for us. We're going to take Sandblast. Take the Windscarred Crag, because white-blue, I think that only leaves us open for Jeskai, right? So red would be our third color, assuming that we draft properly, which we're trying to do, even though we're getting signals out the wazoo for other stuff. Take the Cunning Strike, or we could take the Reality Shift, ooh, or the Outcast. Ay ay ay. <clears throat> It's a toss-up for me between the Reality Shift and the Outcast. It's gonna, we're going to go with the Outcast here. 
By the way, I think it's very interesting. I did a, a stock of what cards I never, I don't have out of uh, KTK or Fates. I don't have any reality shifts, and I think that that's just that's very telling of what I think of the card. Um, <laughs> I should take this, not, uh, but I'm going to take the Outcast. Take the War Flare here over the Jeskai Rune Mark. Uh, Bloodfire and Forces is also really tempting, but I, I, this is a, I think this is the only War Flare we've seen. So I'm happy to pick that up while we can. Some weird signals going on. Like I said, we got we got there was no black and we got hit with black in the face and now black seems to be gone. Uh, now all of a sudden like red is just all of a sudden everywhere. I don't know what's going on in this draft, guys. But that heel cutter decision, the decision between the heel cutter and sandblast, I think was probably the hardest decision we've made so far in, uh, for the draft. Our channel harm did wheel, so that's uh, that's cool. We're definitely gonna pick this up. I, I love this card. I think it's fantastic. It's oh, you know, the, I think I had one uh, one situation in a, in a draft a while back. I think I got a five for one with this card. You know, like my opponent Alpha struck, and I channel harmed. You know, ended up like wiping his board after he played a combat trick, which was rendered ineffective because of channel harm. And then we we swung back for the win. Uh... Ooh, we could take we could take refocus the advantage or the neutralizing blast. Let's take the neutralizing blast because I think that's one of the cards I need to redeem. Really late dismal backwater, really late dismal backwater. I'm tempted to take it in case we splash for some kind of Mardu bomb. Let's take the enhanced awareness instead, though. This is one of the, another one of those cards that I never that I I underrate, but it turns out it's pretty good. Sideboard the advantage here? Yeah. I think Goblin Boom Keg is better than people give it credit for. Weird, weird draft, man. I'm pretty happy. Actually, that's not entirely true. I'm a little bit upset that we the only... Uh, Removal spell we came out of that with was uh, Sandblast. I'm going to have to work pretty hard to pick stuff up again. And... Yeah, screw everything. We're just going to rare draft the Siege Rhino. I'm not passing that. I'm sorry. Uh, but, you know, I probably should take either the Nomad Outpost or the Bonkin. Probably the Bonkin is what I should take, but I'm going to be taking the Siege Rhino. Uh, Ride Down fits in well with our deck. So does Bonkin, though. So does Watcher the Roost. Uh, but like I said, I was I'm kind of missing the uh, some removal, so we're gonna take Ride Down as a removal spell. How much is Siege Rhino worth? Ooh, what did I just do? Uh, ugh. I guess we take the Glacial Stalker here. We could take the Windscarred Crag. Could also take Pony Back Brigade and splash for it. But now we're gonna take the Stalker. Yeah. So Siege Runner's two bucks. Sure. I'm glad. I, I don't mind rare drafting a two dollar card. Would not mind some better fixing. We're kind of lacking in that department. Some type of a Jeskai evasion deck is what we're ending up with. Uh, yep, we're going to take the take-up arms here. This 
really too bad the Dragon Throne gives things Defender. Means he can't put it on a, vigil on a vil vil Vigilance creature. That's really... that's. Mm -hmm. It would be almost playable if you... If it, if you could put it on a vigilance creature. Mm. That is an awesome quote, though. What's once soared high above Tarkir is now reduced to a seat. Mm. <laughs> that is actually pretty funny. Flying Crane Technique is uh, a fantastic mm. finisher, so there's no way we're passing this. This is awesome. This, this card is just bonkers. Mm. Uh, slightly weird stuff going here. Obviously, Teamer is incredibly wide open. Tempted to almost take the Snowhorn Rider and possibly splash some green. Is that going to be a thing, maybe? We have no, we have like crap for fixing. That's really too bad. I don't like Rowland Adept. I don't want to take that. Let's take the Snowhorn Rider. High Spire Mantis. Oh, and Feet. Yeah, we're going to take the Feet over High Spire Mantis. Ooh, wow. That's actually a heck of a pick, huh? It is what it is. We need uh, we need the combat trick. That's what it comes down to. we got a bunch of flyers. You know, we got Surveyor, Lotus Path, Dijin. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to take the Feet. I, I think we, the, this is just what the deck needs more of. Salt Road Patrol. Yep. I like Salt Road. We're going to take Salt Road Patrol over Canyon Lurkers because of the Outlast. It goes well with the uh, Elite Scale Guard. Interesting that the Hordling Outburst wield, but I don't think we can take it because it's in our splash color. And it's double red. I want to. I just don't think that it's a smart move for us. We have very little red in the deck so far, and also crap for fixing. Take another Bloodfire Expert, okay. I don't think the Snowhorn Rider is going to happen. I don't think we're that desperate. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. This Windscard Craig is perfect for us. Guess let's just rare draft this thing. Stick Shatter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Good quote. The ogre's mind snapped. The bow was next. The archer followed quickly after. <laughs> oh, I love the flavor text. I really do. I think it's so mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. To defeat your enemies, you must remove their ability to make mm -hmm. war against you. That's a good one. I almost picked War Behemoth last time, so I'm actually kind of happy that's our 14th pick. Mm -hmm. Hydra, huh? Do I rare draft the Hydra? Let's look it up. I see it's two bucks. I think we are going to rare draft the Hydra. We should take the Heart Piercer or the, or the Feet. We're going to take the Hydra, though. Right? Right. If it wasn't there, though, I'd take the Heart Piercer in a second. Heart Pierce is just so good. But I knew Hydra was worth something. Mantis Rider? Well, bow! That's perfect for us. We could do, I mean, passing a burn away and a Mystic of the Hidden Way, but Mantis Rider is right on, t right what we want. Oh, went a little bit too fast there. The burn away would have been. I wouldn't mind the burn away actually. I could definitely use more fix, more uh, removal in this deck. We're already at twenty. Oh, that's nineteen playable cards with the two with the two lands. Pretty happy with their deck actually. 
I think it's definitely a solid mid -range, mid range deck with some strong finishers. Wouldn't mind some like so, um, some mystic monasteries. I think that's what this deck needs actually. Is some mystic monasteries and then we're, we're, we're really strong. Maybe a trumpet blast. Mm, maybe not. The hell is going on over here? I guess Horde Ambusher, right? We could take Salt Road Patrol, but I think that we'll see another one. I don't like Active Treason. I don't think it's that great of a card. I'm not really that thrilled with taking Horde Ambusher here, but I just don't see any other options for us. I don't know why I'm looking everything up today. Let's so champion is a dollar, huh? Let's actually just rare draft this. Master of the way, we'll slap that down real quick. Monasteries, uh, we'd probably take this crag over the Swift Spear if, if Master of the Way wasn't here. Weapon Master, yep. Horde Chief. It's a little bit odd. Like, this is awkwardly late. Like, this shouldn't be here. Same thing with the Saddle Brood and the Dead Drop. These cards should not be, like, at this moment, they shouldn't be here. Like, what are the people taking instead? I don't know. There's a Trumpet Blast if we want it. Yeah, why not? I almost want to take the Defiant Strike just because I, th I feel like our three spot is really full. Could try to take the Blossoming Sands. If we get another one, we could start running a Snowhorn Rider or two. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to take the Trumpet Blast over the Defiant Strike. Lamasu, maybe? Is this a Lamasu deck? I mean, we have uh, Canyon Lurkers. We have enough three drops already. This is ridiculous. We've seen no fixing in pack three. It's a little weird. I mean, Tormenting Voice or Lamasu? Let's take Lamasu. Let's take the Windscarred Crag here over the Wee Fate. Defiant Strike. For reasons that we were talking about earlier. I don't think we're going to run a second one. Let's sideboard the Rite of Serpent. So in theory, we've made back five bucks in cards, two on the Siege Rider, two on the, Hood, on the Hood, Hooded Hydra, and one on the Blood Soak Champion. I think Mantis Rider's worth something. Let's sideboard an Act of Treason. We got a lot of rares. Where's Mantis Rider? I don't know. I'm not usually like this. I don't know why I'm looking everything up. <laughs> Mantis Rush is 19 cents. Okay. A lot of people were banking on that being like a money card. O J U T A I. That's how you spell that, right? That's one cent? Wow. I didn't realize it was that crappy. Well, I guess it's not really constructed playable. I do that often. I often, you know, like transpose prices for limited ability when really things don't translate that way. So we're at 25 playables with that land right now. Sort by color to see where our splash is first. Splash is definitely red. Okay. Although blue isn't that far behind, huh? Actually, splash might actually be blue. Because we have these red-white cards and we have... And then our... Yeah. Anyway. Excuse me. Huh. I have 14 creatures. 
Wow, our creature curve sucks. I did not realize. Why didn't you guys warn me about this? Holy crap. I literally, our first creature is a 3-drop. I didn't even notice that. Man, why do I take you guys anywhere? I, I don't feel like this is a Trumpet Blast deck. I think we're going to take out the Trumpet Blast. Yeah, because we already have Flying Crane Technique. We have War Flare. Take up arms is a creature, kind of, sort of. This puts us at 24. I need to ditch two cards here. Our high-end curve, you know, our, our multiple big fat spells. We're definitely running 18 lands, man. Let's take up the Defiant Strike. And what's our weakest creature? Maybe the War Behemoth? Maybe Lamasu? Mm -hmm. Let's take out Lamasu. And that's what we're going to be running. Add some lands. Actually, no. Cancel first. Sort by color. Combine. I hate. I don't like how they sort this. I wish that they would put like this red blue card. I'd like it in between the red and blue stuff. Uh, that doesn't work. Like I want this here, and I want the the war flares. You know, I want I want it to go blue red within the blue reds in between, and then I want. The red, white, and then the white over here, so I could really see what's going, what's happening here. Um, awful lot of white. All right, what do you suggest? Eight five five, huh? It's actually better than I thought it would be. And then what can we do with our Windscar Crags? I don't, I don't want to just run. Let's take out a. Plains for a Windscarred Crag. Let's take out a Mountain for a Windscarred Crag. Let's take out another Plains for a Windscarred Crag. And then let's take out a Mountain for an Island. So as far as sources go, we have six red, six blue, nine Plains. Which I don't think we need that many planes. We could probably ditch a planes for an island. Do we want or ditch a planes for a mountain even? Not sure about that. A curve is really crap. The only thing that kind of bothers me is this double blue in the Avon Surveyor, with just running six six islands. One, two, three, four, five, six. We should get there theoretically, though. Now that and our creature curve is horrific. It's so bad. I didn't I didn't realize this. I probably would have drafted a little differently. Oh well. Let's submit it. I'll see you guys round one.